What's up? You know what there it is. You know what fucking day it is. We talk about Monster Hunt today. That's right, it's the weekend. Uh, probably this will be up on Monday, UK time. You know, you know, with the slow uploads and stuff like that. Yeah, I hope you all are safe uh, a week. Yeah, so let's get to it, shall we? Because I have a few things to say today. Um, first thing first. Yes, I have Monster Hunter stories. Yes, I do. I'm just wondering to do some gameplay with it. Why I have discussions and that. Um, because I've already com kind of completed it from the, the Switch. So, yeah. But I don't mind. It's just, you know, the energy of doing it again. You know. But guys, what do you think? Do you think I should, you know, bring some gameplay while we have discussions? Because I think I should. You know, I think I should, you know, to mix it up with Monster Hunter World, you know. So I hope everybody's enjoying that game, you know. Um, yeah, you know. Now, I haven't done any, like, movie reviews in a, a while. Just because I'm just having a little tiny bit of a break before movies do start. Because Halloween ones will start very soon after the summer. It's flying over this year. I think we've all been there, you know, um, as well. So, yeah. So, as you know, with some new content, Monster Hunter content on how to beat as well. That's the second thing as well. I really enjoy making those videos. Um, it's really fun to edit and stuff like that. And I want to make them unique, you know. And I do take requests as well so you know if you want to be the best cat in the world or you know something like that let me know on that one <laughs> you know i always put like a voting system in the community tab on something because i really like doing that and i just realized i could do that myself you know oh uh, yes so oh let's get to it shall we let's get to the fucking real deal so Wilds. So as you know, there's some features um, being announced as well with crossplay and that. And I want to talk about that today with another situation on why I think this is going to be a hard pill to swallow because I'm hoping fucking not why I think it's going to get negative reviews. Okay, now I know you're jumping ready to bash your head off the fucking keyboard and fucking shit like that. Hold up, wait till your cat service fucking shit it calls out, okay? You know, why enjoy this piercing light bulb gun gameplay? So, crossplay. I know everybody's all been wanting it and, um,. You know, in Monster Hunter, like Monster Hunter World, it was one of the priorities on bringing it to it, and it never really did. And then they kind of announced it. I'm saying kind of because I don't know where the confirming is. I can't see it. Uh, I can't. But anyhow, crossplay is supposed to be in. Now, I want to bring some positives and cons to it because... Crossplay used to be the top peer thing, you know, like in any game. So you could bring your friends and that and, you know, join them and that. And join them in hunts now, like when wilds get released. And if it's an open world, you know, I mean, you can have one fucker go one way or another fucker go the way and go, Bye, have a good time. God, he's just been eaten. You know what? Let's not save him. <laughs> I know someone fucking out there is going to do that shit. But, um, yeah, I, I want to talk about the pros. The pros about the uh, cross-player 
it's gonna bring out the Monster Hunter game itself. Not the community, because God negated the community. Um, the game itself. Because the game needs to be something like, because if we have a Monster Hunter world for so long, you know, something of a concept needs to be done. And I understand why it's coming out next year. When it was released, people were so gutted. And the first thing that came into my head, and I said it on a reaction video, take your time. Take, like, take your time with it. Take the time all you need with it, you know, to execute it right. We have seen some gameplay as well. Um, yeah, so the, the that's one of the biggest pros to me. It's going to bring out a lot of hunters, gather together, what they couldn't hunt together. You know, not just the Monster Hunter community, because I have a really fucking issue about those people. Uh, because they think they it, they not, okay? Just to put it out there, they fucking not, okay? You know, I mean, I might be uh, a decimation cat when it comes to, uh, you know, how-to videos. But when it comes to gameplay and everything, a lot of them... Think the experts, veterans, which makes me cringe now, which was relevant at the time, you know. Um, I just have my moments of good and bad in the game, you know. That's just me, I have fun. I don't use cheats, mods, or anything like that, which gets to me the negative about crossplay. Now, they said PC, Xbox, and PlayStation 5. Um, here's the kicker. This is when the spoil's gonna come in. It always does in every cross-player game. You're gonna have that one person ruining everything, and it's gonna expand. Now, I'm gonna bring something else onto the table here. Mods, cheats, where, where they associate with cheats and everything. Do you think... Without not being a dumbass. Don't be a dumbass here. Right? Do not be a dumbass. Do you really think that they're going to let PC people, some console people, use cheats in public lobbies? Do you think they're going to do that? No, they're not. It has been a discussion about no mod support and stuff like that. And this is when the true colours of the Monster Hunter community will come out. Because I think this is what Capcom is trying to do. Not just make money out of DLC and costumes and stuff like that. Because they could bring like armour and laid armour like every month. In a shop if they wanted to. Oh God, no, no, no. But <laughs> you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm getting at. But if they're going to say no mod support and all this kind, this is when the negative review from PC fucking people's going to come in. So but her uh, fucking God. they just so childish. they childish to the name I cannot stand it and that's when it's gonna get negative shit on because they can't use the mod situation and the cheats what the f do you suspect you fucking dumbasses I have to call you dumbasses I'm sorry do you really think you're gonna use them in public hunts with people who might have just started playing Monster Hunter World who's just joined the Monster Hunter community you know, it is, you know, like, it's a huge community, you know, and people have been sly and sneaky as an arc, using mods and saying, yeah, I got a three minute speed run on Acetron. Yes, I call it Acetron, okay, it, because it is a fucking ass. <laughs> it is, same as I call this Goldie bitch, because it is a little bitch <laughs> like so I have nicknames for all the monsters you've seen when I put on the community page which monster do you want me to do you know so 
this is what I'm going to say. That's what I'm worried about. I'm real pie. I'm worried. It's got so dumb and stupid that they think they're going to use these mods, hacks and everything in a cross-player public hunt. Like all these other fucking games that get ruined. That's what's going to ruin it. That's what's going to ruin it. But if they say, oh, no mod support, no cheats, and if we find anybody who cheats in the public, they're going to be permanently banned, like so, that's going to be a good thing. i tell you why. Monster Hunter has always been about building the community, building your own community like I am doing. I know it's a small one, but I don't mind small. I don't mind small. You know, it's always been about that. It's never been about who's the better hunter, who's the better slayer. Oh, they the veterans. Oh, they're the best in the world because I got 50 seconds on what? Arsatron. Sorry, like, that's not legit to me. That's not great. You've used a pile of mods in and you're classing it as a speed run, which makes me laugh. I want to see, in 2025, speedruns without no cheats. And that's and because I know there's going to be some 20 minutes, 15 minutes, 12 minutes. Hell, maybe 9 minutes. Because I've done 9 minutes with Spiky Boy, you know. And that was a world record for me, you know. With this gun, Pierce, Fatalis, LBG. Um... Yeah, so you got to think this through. Because, you know, there is going to be a catch. You think it's going to have mod support, cheats, cross-play, and they're going to say, you know what? <laughs> Let them go in public hunts, you know, with these cheats. Capcom's not that stupid. They've mentioned trying to remove the cheat system and part of people are triggered, and then they make an excuse saying, it's for you, I go and f yourself, okay? That's a fucking excuse. Get the f out of here. You don't just use a fucking you, are you fuckers? <laughs> you don't fucking do that shit, okay? Shut the f up, <laughs> you lying fucking bitches. <laughs> That's why I don't support half of these Monster Hunter channels anymore. And no, it, they won't need my support because they already get the support from dumb fucking ass assholes. <laughs> Which I don't get involved in them. Because I don't believe they're part of the Monster Hunter community. I'm just part of the, the ruining community. <laughs> I get part of people with randoms or anything because I was thinking of doing a Discord as well. Just a small amount of people if they want to just come on and have some fucking fun and not just sweat shit out, compare weapons, which is the best fucking weapon. This is the best build, but you know what? I'm not going to use mods, right? But you fucking do. <laughs> it's a good bill, but you won't get five minutes with it. <laughs> I don't care. I'll roast this shit to the end. <laughs> okay? Because it's fucking pathetic. It kind of ruins the Monster Hunter vibe. I'm sorry. It does. It does. It always has since Monster Hunter World. It could have been before that. You know, like so. And then the gaslighting and then the axe shit comes out as well. So, fuck them as well. <laughs> yes, I'm in a delighted mood. That's why I'm being like this. Because I'm in a delight mood because I'm enjoying the stuff I do on the channel. And the new kind of videos I make. I'm so proud of making those. <laughs> Even though they're 40 seconds long. <laughs> you know? But... I want to get to also a point. <sighs> the crossplay is a big thing in Monster Hunter World. It's going to get ruined. It's either going to get ruined or it's going to get negative shit on on Steam 
because you can't use mods. And that's when the true colours will come out on these YouTube channels, on all these people in general, and they'll tell you straight from the bar that, you know what? We console players, some of them are fucking idiots that still use cheats. Yes, they still use cheats, but not as much as PC. But they use the one-shot method. I've had multiple comments of that. And I've had it myself, and it's absolutely insane. I uploaded a video about it, and it got blocked. <laughs> because it, they thought I was showing how to one-shot monsters. I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake. So it got blocked, so I had to remove it, you know. And I've been trying to upload it ever since. And the last three times, they've just blocked it. Blocked it, so I can't... Yeah, it sucks. It sucks. But you know if you've been in a public hunt, you've seen this happen. You've seen this happen, and it does happen. Ignore the people, you know. I also want to talk about something positive as well. A demo. Now, to me, I think this demo is what we've seen the gameplay of in the trailers. I love that because I mentioned before it was announced that they should release a trailer like Stellar Blade to just get the feel of it, you know, and I would love that. I would love that. Like, so um, I love how they've done that. <clears throat> Which can, kind of makes a lot of sense. And I feel like that demo is going to be out this year. Near Christmas time. Possibly. They might announce it in August. You know, because they are announcing some gameplay, a demo, and stuff like that. You know. So, I'm really, really happy about that. I am. I I'm, I'm truly am. You know... And some people, like say, I've helped people to have fun. Because they so worry about the builds. Because gaming today, and I'm telling you this now, you see fucking builds and you say, why? That's why I don't, that's why I haven't done any more build videos. This is the build I need to beat that monster. Not like exploring and having fun anymore. It's like a competition. You know. I fucking hate that. I hate that. I hate how Monster Hunter World is turned into that. Like everybody's supposed to be best. Like the shit on the long swords. The shit on the long swords. Uh, because of how they are. It's not the long sword problem. It's the people problem. It's the people problem that's making the longsword reputation shitty. It is. Because I do watch a longsword person on YouTube. I do. I watch. I watch, still watch an odd one or two. And they use a longsword. And you don't see any overly toxic bullshit. You know. So it, it, it gets to that point. You know. It gets to that point of saying... You know, it's not the weapon, it's the person. And this generation, they like to ruin fucking shit. I'm not on social media for a reason, because it's overly toxic, especially fucking X. Holy God. You know, my friends on X, I said forget about it. <laughs> so, I, uh... I really appreciate if you made it this far in the video, you know what to do with the channel and everything. I have a lot of content that I've uploaded up um, as well about remakes of movies and stuff like that. So I've still done something like that with gameplay. How to do videos is about two up now. I love enjoying making those kind of videos. And if I can, every weekend, I try and make a video. Hopefully it all comes out before Monday. 
as a weekend just to talk about Monster Hunter gaming or we have our theories or you know even that even anything else it doesn't have to be Monster Hunter like situation you know but I like to shit on a lot of the mods and cheats the only best thing about the modding situation was modding the monsters because there was so some good ones that I said, Ah, oh, I wish they were Monster Hunter World, you know. But it came expiral thousands and thousands, like holy shit. And then I just thought, you know what? There's my proof. There's my proof that nothing is legit when it comes to speedruns anymore. Nothing is legit when it comes to builds because. I've copied of the builds and they don't do the same damage, they don't do, you know, they don't do this shit, you know, and I'm like, and you manipulating all these people to believe that you can have be OP with this build and it's just a good damaging build and there's no shame in them, there's no shame in them whatsoever, there's no shame in them whatsoever. You know, and they probably laugh at behind your back. And this is why I don't want in wilds. I want wilds to be, have everybody have a wonderful experience, including myself. Hopefully, I have the time, <laughs> you know, to just browse, explore. Because I think you're allowed two weapons now, which is absolutely insane. You know, to embrace. Like what we first ever did on Monster Hunter World, you know. Um, the people who don't cheat, which is, I think it's really rare now. Uh, I completed Monster Hunter World without no cheats, without no mods, anything like that. And I am so proud of doing that. I'm so proud of doing that, you know. And... I'm going to try and do the same in Wilds. And I feel like it's going to be more tougher than World. I really think it is. You know. And I have a funny feeling that this fucking dragon's going to be back as well. With all the elements changing in the weather and that. Something's obviously causing it. And if you see this guy, he has all the elements under the sun. Which everybody had a problem with. Me, I just take a safeguard and pierce. You know, just to get the job done. You know, I do. I do. I know it's not, like, <laughs> fun to some people. But, you know, I like to make fun Monster Hunter videos, rants, stuff like that. I do. Um... <sighs> I still debate on one thing though. I do feel like it's going to be one of these games that Capcom is going to in, like uh, bring more content in with a having crossplay as well. And you know it's going to double the amount. You know it's going to double the amount like so bad. It is. It 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 is. It's going to be pretty much um it's gonna be pretty much big it's gonna be really really big if it pays off it's just gonna be those negative people if capcom says well this game is not gonna support mods cheats you know we don't want that in our systems i know people are still going to try and put them in you know and I, I've discussed why they do that. You know, I've already discussed why they've done that in another cast um, as well. I don't believe, I don't believe in a lot of Monster Hunter channels anymore. Um, I did a lot with the builds. And then my friend was like, you know, these builds don't work right. And then we did some searching and this is how the mod community 
You know it is. Now some of the mods I don't mind. The laid armor. The sexy laid armor. I don't mind. I wish it was in the fucking game. I do. This is what I've said. Like I don't have a problem with all the mod situation. But I will if it starts doing this fucking shit in wilds. Because it doesn't need it. It doesn't need it. We, you know, if you can play the game naturally of how I play it when you buy it, you can. But obviously, people are so addicted to the mods and cheat situation, you know, it's an addiction. So they've got a negative on Steam. I guarantee you. There's no way they're going to say, right, okay, the mod support is still going to be in Y crossplay. Because I really think that's why they didn't announce it. Because they have seen how the mods have gone too far fetched. They have. And they haven't done nothing about it because obviously they think they're in private games, which obviously is fine. If you want to do mods and cheats, Fine, away from YouTube, away from all this, you know, don't pull out there saying, this is a build, I've done this in six minutes, because it's a lie, <laughs> it's a fucking lie, it's not a proper build, you haven't done it in six minutes because legit, it's because of the mods, they just make the build better than what you use it, and this is when it comes to the fact of people telling you, and I'm going to say this for a, m a strong message to beginners and people, because I had it myself. People in the community, this is why I'm not part of the Monster Hunter community. They shit. <laughs> they are full of sweaty, nartistic, thinking the intelligent veterans i remove myself from that and i am happy i've been more actually happy about it and happy to have more discussions you know but doesn't mean i don't like a community of people like randoms and stuff like that because you know i want to do something like that still Especially for wilds, because wilds is going to be wild. And that's a pun, you know. But I want to put a strong message out there to the people. You're going to get these people telling you, saying one thing. You're bad at the game. Get better. <laughs> You're not using it right. I'm going to tell you one thing right now, despite all the tutorials. There's never a right way to use a weapon. There's never a right way. And that's what I learned on Monster Hunter. And Monster Hunter Wild, that's what I went with. And you see these hunts and that now. That because I use weapons so wrong. And I read the fine print on jewels and stuff like that. Honestly, I hope the dual system is like Monster Hunter World because I fucking hated the Rise's dual situation. Uh, it was supposed to be easier. No, crafting the, the jewels, uh, it was like you did more work. And that's when grinding comes into play which i don't like the word grind i don't like the word grind at all doesn't make fucking sense it's not like you're getting paid a week like 15 dollars a week <laughs> like a nine to five job you know you know wish our cats could do that but all serious so i want to be serious for a moment if these people are saying you're bad at the game stuff like that ignore them laugh at their face laugh at their face and say you know what you know what i'm already banning you for just saying that because you do there is people and these people gaslight and negative these youtubers and ignore it and he won't tell you this so i'm telling you this on this channel 
people is going to shit on you for saying you're not using the weapon right. You don't have the right armor right. You don't have this right. You're bad at the game. Install it. They do this shit. And I tell those people to go and f*** themselves. You know, they cannot stand me of what I do. They cannot stand me when I mention cheats and mods. Because, you know, I'm fucking right about it. You know? And, um, it's one of those things. So, if you're a beginner and you're just starting world, like, once or two world, because I would still buy world. I would still, I'm not promoting it, but it is, I think it's half price. You know, as well, I would buy World and start there, you know, because this game is going to be like World. But guys, like I said, if you get any of that situation, ignore it. Just have fun. Don't be worried if you're not better than someone else. Don't be. Monster Hunter is a group game, a solo game, as much as it is. Don't worry about how other people are better than you because it always comes out at the end that they use fucking cheats. <laughs> Half of the people do now. I'm sorry they do and it's very, very sad. But if you want to keep that mindset and stuff like that, you know what to do. Wilds is going to be something that no old bard anybody can do. It's going to be a beautiful game. It's going to be like Dragon's Dogma 2. The negative day because of microtransactions. And I'm like, you did. I have never bought any microtransactions in the fucking shop. And I love the game. I love the game so much. I still play it now and again. Not as much, but now and again, you know. So... For the game and society as well, for this message, if it helps, if it helps you, um, I hope it does. I hope it does. And especially with Monster Hunter Wild, Monster Hunter World, it's important to know your stuff. But it's also important to know your place when it comes to it as well. Don't let anybody... Don't let anybody bully you, bully you, to saying you're a bad player and monster hunter. No one is. I make fun of them. I make fucking fun of them and stuff like that as a comic and stuff like that. Or, you know, you've seen on my channel. Because it's just goofy and fun. But they won't find it. Because <laughs> they sweat. And that's when I make fun of that stuff. You know, but people who just come at people and say, oh, they bad at the game. This is how you play the game. This is a, no, no. That's not a tutorial for me. Because if you play like them, it's going to get skill quick. Oh, I want the best build in the world. You're not exploring enough. And this is what's wrong with the gaming generation too. It's not just mods, it's a gaming generation too. They want to be best at everything all the time. And I just can't. I, you know, yes, it frustrates me, you know, if I keep losing all the time. Of course it does. You know, it's perfectly natural. Especially Monster Hunter. <laughs> but um, at the end of the day, it's a game. It's just a game. Uh, it, that's all it is. It's just a game. And don't, because I know a lot of people are struggling with mental health as well. And they like playing games like Monster Hunter and Dragon's Dogma to help them. Honestly, I would do that. It is going to go insanely. People are going to go begging. Can I go in these lobbies? Can I go in these lobbies? You know, when Wilds gets released. Like so... That's why I'm just going to brace myself, see what I can do, it is. So, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, cast. I know it's been a lot more different, but I thought just to chill out, 
talk to you about some situations as well. It's the same as movies as well. Like movie, I know movies are entirely different concept altogether. That's why I'm I'm a different kind of fucking person when I review those fuckers. But uh, when it comes to game and Monster Hunter, I have noticed people trying to be dicks. And you say, oh, I'm a veteran and all this kind. And they're just full of cheats and mods. They're just full of cheats and mods. They are. And they'll tell you you're bad. <laughs> I've seen it. I've witnessed it. I've been on Discord communities with it. I have. I left it. I said the irony. I says try and do a fucking playthrough without them. And they just get really, really angry at me. Because they know they can't. And this is what I'm saying. you got to ignore these people. And just do your own thing. Enjoy wild. Enjoy world. Enjoy stories. Because that's just been released too, you know. So there you go. I hope that message helped. It's come across you. And I uh, hope it helps you when wild comes out. So... You see something to the left. You see something to the right. You see something. Oh, oh, God, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. It's coming. It's coming. Wild is coming. Oh, yeah. Get that fucking bird down on the fucking wall. Get the fucking bird out of the wall. Oh, 